Grab the noodles. Yep, or either one. That's it. And now these these arms are these are what is you know pushing tension against these to push these out. So if you ever go to put this back together and you know the brake is doing this, it's you know, these have yeah they have to sit behind behind the brake arms. Yeah. And then from there, you just open the lever, and um, usually you won't be able to just pull this right out. You'll have to loosen this uh, a couple of times. So, and this is you can think of this as just like a nut in a bolt. Mm -hmm. This is the bolt. You know, this is the head of the bolt, and this is the nut. So you need to hold one side still and loosen the other. Now, if you loosen this too much, it can all come apart, which isn't a big deal. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> so this is the axle, this is the bolt, and this is the nut. There's only two springs, and then this piece here. And this this will almost never fall off. You'll just leave that on there. But now, if you do, you know, loosen this too, yep, this is what it will look like when it comes apart. The wide end of the spring, you know, sits in the uh, the bigger end there. Same with this side. Too. I got it. I got it. I mean, you can take your picture, but I got it. It's always going to go on the non-drive side of the bike. This is the non-drive side. Uh, the drive side has the chain, <laughs> the chain, and the drive chain. But you can take take it off without the axle coming out and stuff. You can, yeah. And so what you'll do um, when this is all the way when this wheel is all the way on here and this is tight and you go to loosen this up, you'll just you'll loosen this up just a couple of times. Like I spin it like three or four times. Yeah, and then it'll just come right out. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh. Set the uh, these openings of the port down on the axle. 